Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a men's undercut in the vein of Peaky Blinders. So let's get started. An undercut is really a simple concept. You know, you're just sectioning off the head top to bottom and you're cutting the underneath shorter and allowing the longer hair on top to hang over it. You can do a lot like we're going to do today or you can just do the nape if you want to just get rid of some weight. So for someone that has too much hair, it's a really good way to just get rid of it and let the other hair hang over it and become the style or the shape. Today we're going to use the inspiration of the Netflix show Peaky Blinders. And on Peaky Blinders, they're sectioning off the top and the bottom and they're just peeling the sides and the back. The underneath, they're just skinning it really, really tight and allowing the top to be really long and slick everything back. And the only place it blends is right here at the back of the head. So I've sectioned off the center of my recession, the parietal ridge, straight back to the quarter part. And then on the back of the head, I went down and just kind of hewed that slightly above where the occipital bone is because the occipital bone is where I'm going to start my blend and go up a little bit higher than that and blend it into the length on the top. So let's get started. So as I'm, I'm clippering and working around, I'm just laying everything flat against the head and going straight up to the parting, pulling the hair on top out of the way, and just cutting the length off. As I get to the back, I'm going to take the clipper and go straight up, and as the head starts to round, I'm going to pull the clipper off the curvature of the head and allow this hair here to get a little bit longer. That's going to help me with my blend just through here in the back. It's not a big step, but that little step makes it a lot easier. On this corner here, I'm definitely going all the way up. So the only part that I'm having a little bit of taper is right here in the back center of the head. So we went through and we finished our clippering. Just cutting everything the same length underneath with a slight little taper right here just in the center back that will make it easier for me to blend that. So here in the back, I got my first section and I'm just going to go through and razor everything really short. I'm going to use my feather styling razor. I'm going to hold this out and wherever that length I see where I started the taper, I'm just going to start razoring that off and taking the length off. I want a pretty good soft razor stroke as I go across. Now I'm not worried about any kind of sticking out right there. We'll deal with that as we start to build up weight. Take my next section, hold out. There's my guide from underneath. Take a good broad long razor stroke. I'm pulling everything straight back towards me. and making sure I'm removing as much weight as I can while just leaving some length. And I'll start to fine tune that as we're getting done with cutting all of our length. Now that we're starting to build up some length in the weight, I'm not freaking out so much by that sticking out a little bit. Continue on and just keep continuing and working until I run out of hair.
continue parallel sections and each section I'm going to hold towards me off the peak curvature of the head just straight back there's my line a nice broad stroke so I maintain length but the larger the stroke the more weight that I'm going to remove Okay, so we've gone through and I pulled everything back. I razored all that length off to make sure that we can start to get some blending going on here. And I think it's already beginning to shape up, you know, pretty well. We've got a nice long length here on the sides and the top to make it slick back. But then when it comes back here, it's not just a blunt cut line. It has a little bit of tapering and blending, but I'm gonna try to remove some more weight from that. And the way I'm gonna do that is with, <clears throat> is with my feather styling razor with the texturizing blade. So this one, it has little guards on certain parts where it won't cut, so it cuts like every other section. So I can go through and start to remove some weight without fear of removing more length. So I'll start right back in the middle and I'm gonna go through and follow the same pattern that I was following before it's just now, instead of holding it in my hand, I'm going to comb the section down and I'm just going to lay the razor right on top and real gently drag the razor across the length of the hair. Being careful not to use too much tension and just taking some of that weight out through there. If I find something that's a little too long, I'll pinch that off. But I'm not trying to get it too perfect and too clean. And then I'll take my next section, comb that down. Let me pin this out of the way. So once I comb that down, I'll take and just real gently repeat that for every section of hair just to remove more weight, not necessarily trying to remove more length. In hopes that by doing this, it defluffs that and makes it much more pliable. And I'll, I won't hit it with the texturizing blade more than about half whatever the length is because I don't want to get this hair here cut really short closer to the scalp in fear of that it might alfalfa out and start sticking out from the head. So about halfway. And I think that that is working quite well. So we're just going to continue on with that for each section until we run out of hair.
Okay, working on the last section of the top. Same sort of methodology, combing everything back, smooth against the head. Come on, baby. Smooth against the head from about half of the length. I'll start my little bit of tapering. On the last layer, I'll tend to be a little more gentle with it because I want to keep that fairly solid. I don't want to keep a lot of texture in that top layer, so I'm just going to go very lightly on the top here. Now, I can go and take a lot of hair out, or I can take a little hair out, all depending upon how much pressure I'm using and how many razor strokes across the head that I'm doing. Paying attention to how much pressure I'm putting on. If I put a lot of pressure and I manhandle it, ooh, it's gonna be rough. Delicate, like a butterfly floating across the meadow, very, very delicately. So now after we do that, let's take a look at it. And I think just from that razoring right there, it's already taken some of that strength and resiliency out of it, and it's made it a lot more pliable. I can start molding the shape in. It blends much softer back here without really removing all of my length. And I think that that's looking pretty good. I got a one hair right there that bugs me. So we'll take that off. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with that. So now at this point, the styling becomes not necessarily, you know, blow drying. It's more of putting a pomade in it, gelling it back, slicking it back, depending upon the strength and resiliency of the hair. The more hair they got, some it's got wave, you got to really gel it down. So sometimes, some types of hair you have to gel, let it harden and completely dry, then put pomade on it so that it has some loose texture. I think the whole look of it is that it is free to kind of fall and have this kind of really long front, you know, so if they get into a bar fight, ah, oh, it's all messy, but then they just run their hands back through it and it stays. So this is more of an exercise in how to razor, removing weight without removing length and getting this sort of texture to where it really stays back out of the way. So I applied some pomade and I think that the haircut looks pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a blend between kind of an Arthur Shelby and a, a Thomas Shelby, you know, it's a very Peaky Blinder kind of look. Uh, nice and short, nice pomade, slick back, good little soft blend through here. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, pretty straightforward haircut. The only thing you have to really pay attention to is how to use the razor to get enough weight removal without removing the, the length. And that just requires a little bit of time and a little bit of practice. So I hope you like it. Please check out the Jatai Academy. We have all kinds of stuff on there that's really great to help advance your haircutting education. Also, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Yeah.